Sunday at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Join Tamika Duncan Ministries for your morning inspiration. And now the word of encouragement with Tamika Duncan of Tamika Duncan Ministries. Good. Welcome to Encouragement Word of the Day. Then this is the month of March, the month for manifestation, the month of demonstration, and the month of concentration. Please keep in mind, saints, people of God, that God wants us to go deeper. God wants us to trust him in the process. God wants us to be all that we can be, but we must follow, trust him, and believe, and continue to seek him, because he is the one that makes ways out of no way. He is the one who's a mind regulator. He is the one that can take all things and expediently change within 24 hours. So I ask on today, do you, are you willing to trust him through your process? Are you willing to allow him to work on you? Trust in him, believe in him, and watch him make all things new. Watch him take the former things and make them new. So now it's time to go forth, praise him, and watch the manifestation come forth. Again, this is Tamika Duncan from Tamika Duncan Ministries. You all have a blessed week. WBRP, we are music. You are listening to World Class Boss Man Radio, where there's a commitment to musical excellence. You're listening to Sunday Morning Inspiration with DJ King Royal on Spreaker.com and iHeartRadio. Every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, it's Sunday Morning Inspiration. We give you the breaks right here on Spreaker.com, on my radio, Spotify, and stream live at WPRP62017.com. Sunday at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Join Tamika Duncan Ministries for your morning inspiration. And now the word of encouragement with Tamika Duncan of Tamika Duncan Ministries. Good morning and welcome to the encouragement word of today. For the encouragement word of the day for the week is steadfast. I wanted to encourage someone on today, no matter what it looks like, no matter what comes your way, hold on and step out on God's promises for he is truly a way maker. He is truly a provider. So, Lord God, we're going to say a quick prayer for those that may be discouraged right now, for those that may not see things happening for them. Father God, we come before you on today, Lord God, giving you praise and glory, Lord God. I ask you to touch the people, Lord God, that may be feeling like lullaby. They may be in the lullaby, Lord God. We ask you to lift them up, Lord God. We ask you to touch their hearts, touch their minds. Give them a renewal right spirit within them, Lord God. Lord God, that this prayer may reach their loved ones, Lord God. We speak healing over the airways right now, Lord God. Lord God, we thank you right now, Lord God. Cover our children, Lord God. Lord God, send a hedge of protection around our children, Lord God. Cover them under your blood, Lord God. We come against the enemy right now that no weapon that form against our children shall prosper, Lord God. Send strength to our parents, Lord God. Strengthen their minds, Lord God. Strengthen their hearts, Lord God. Heal the brokenness, Lord God, for even when they were little, Lord God. We uproot that hurt and disappointment right now, Lord God, so that their parents can be go in full force and be parents parents, but they can encourage and uplift their children, Lord God. So I speak restoration to every family, Lord God. We speak love into the family in the name of Jesus, Lord God. So we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' name, we pray. So steadfast, hold on to on God's changing hand. And don't forget, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, T. Duncan Ministries, and Facebook, Tamika Duncan. Thank you all for joining me, and you all have a blessed week. Sunday Morning Inspiration.
We give you the praise. We give you worship. Something to think to, meditate, meditate. and to get you on your way now. All new, new, new. Sunday morning inspiration starts now on Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and streaming live at WBRP62017.com. I wake up reaching. I wake up with the sky in my eyes. Let's get started. It's my season, he's the reason Everybody let's go I'm feeling stronger The harder I go, the better I flow I'm a CEO I pray like a boss Let's get it, I'm with it We lit and we're reaching for the sky Everybody leap for the sky Let's go for the sky Everybody leave for the sky The runway's clear The sun is shining, I'm climbing, I'm vibing in midair Doing my thing Oh, In my lane, in his name, on my game if you come close, I'm contagious, outrageous, believe me, you're gonna be reaching for the sky. Everybody leap for the sky. Everybody reach for the sky. Let's go, let's go for the sky. Everybody reach for the sky Keep, 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 keep rising to the top And my mind says, give it all you got, give it all you got Give it all you got, give it all you got Reach for the sky
another day that God allow us the end of the day, for this is the day He has made. This is DJ King Royal. Welcome to Sunday Morning Inspiration. Sit back and relax. We have the show you thus far with encouraging word by Mr. Tamika Duncan, out of Tamika Duncan Ministries, and the word you will hear soon from Lisa Hill, uh, Lauren, Mississippi. And we hope you're having a blessed day thus far as you get ready to go to church or as you coming home from work on your way to going to church or you're just coming home. Um, you don't want to get your day started. What better way to start your Sundays and get your worship on and get your praise on? Well, today, the first Sunday in March, uh, as you know, I'm doing a Spotlight Artist today. So today's Spotlight Artist today is the late Reverend Clay Evans. I've heard of him before, I, I listened to him when I was young, I knew there were some songs I heard because I was listening to the entire album that he did and recognized maybe a few of them, and one of them I knew um, back in my teens, special shout out to my big sis, uh, Evangelist Joyce Williams out of Maryland, um, when she was a DJ at WAIC in Springfield, she would play that song somehow, some way. that was one that was became one of my favorite songs. And then late late 90s, then I heard the other song, uh, I Got a Testimony. That's also another song. Uh, but he's going to be truly greatly be missed. Uh, a pioneer in the Chicago area. Chicago, stand up. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we're going to go on with this music. So, special shout out to all the affiliates joining in from Speaker.com, iHeartRadio, Spotify, or tuning in at WBRP62017 com. So sit back and relax and enjoy this far, the first of the many to come in our spotlight artists, y'all. Reverend Clay Evans, y'all. All right, take care. Enjoy. Happy Sunday, everybody. to Sunday Inspiration with your host, DJ King Royal. So sit back and prepare for your blessing. Our Father which art in
temptation But deliver us Deliver us from And now, the word with Lisa Hill out of Laurel, Mississippi. This is Lisa Hill out of Laurel, Mississippi, coming with your daily devotion. I'm coming from 2 Corinthians 12, 9 through 10. And it reads, For he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distresses, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. Embrace your weakness, knowing that your biggest difficulty it's actually an exhibit of God's grace in your life. What doesn't kill you will only make you stronger. And that's my daily devotion for the day. God bless. This is Mocha Bella from the X Squad. When you want to get your Sunday morning started with some great gospel music, tune into Sunday Morning Inspiration with DJ King Royal. You can hear it only on Spreaker.com and iHeartRadio. You will surely be blessed. Enjoy. Hi, this is Tamika Duncan from Tamika Duncan Ministries all the way from the ATL. You're listening to Sunday Morning Inspiration on Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and streaming live from WBRP6217.com. This your boy, DJ the Boss Lewis. And I'm First Lady DJ Too Cute, a.k.a. Queen Boss. And when we are not broadcasting live from the boss. And the First Lady. Studio. We are tuned in to my man, DJ King Royal, every Sunday. For Sunday morning, inspiration and jazz. Only on Spreaker.com and iHeartRadio. That's right. Yeah, dear. All new, new, new Sunday morning inspiration starts now on Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and streaming live. At WBRP six two zero one seven dot com.
Mary's room at the cross for you. There is a room and a cross for you. The millions ah, millions have come. But still there's some room, room for one. There is room and the cross. Thank you, Jesus, for you. There is room at the cross for you. You can join in with me, choir, and help me say it one time. There room and the cross. Thank you. For you. There is a room, room, room. So be 
not discouraged For I bring hope to you It is no Listening to Sunday Morning Inspiration with DJ King Royal on Spreaker.com and iHeartRadio. And because we don't know what tomorrow gonna bring, we really don't know what the next minute or the next second is gonna bring. And look like some of the worst things in the world can happen to us. But we got the assurance. The thing's gonna work out. They're gonna work out all right. Now, how many of you really believe that? Now, you really need to have that faith. Because every once in a while, you get to the dead end of the room. And you can't go back, you can't go forward, can't go to the side. But you can just stand still and wait on the Lord. Well, you know that all things, I said all things, work together for good to them that love the Lord and call for the purpose. Shake somebody's hand and tell them all things work together for good.
Don't get discouraged. Don't get discouraged. All right, all right. Oh, because oh. it's taking so long. You just hang on in there.
As we close this, let me tell you again, going home, wherever you are, put the lights up. Pull the color around your shoulder and go on to sleep. For in the morning, in the morning, oh, in the morning, let me hear you say, in the morning, yeah, in the morning. gonna be all right it's all right right now how many of you believe it's all right now well tell somebody say it's all right 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 right. One more time, Eric. As we close, one more time. Let me hear the say it on the organ. And that's 
That's all I want to tell somebody. Your room of hope is almost broke. Your room of faith is almost broke. Your room of patience is almost broke. But read. I want you to tell to read beyond the break. Hold on. Listening to Sunday Morning Inspiration with DJ King Royal on Spreaker.com and iHeartRadio. This is WBRP.
down, you're going to stand it, regardless of what happens. Through the storm, through the rain, through my heartaches and my pain, I'm going to stand it. Look on my tell somebody, say, I'm going to serve the Lord. Tell somebody, I'm going to serve the Lord. For the rest of my life. This is WBRP. Look down. How many of you walked in here this morning? Look at your feet and point to them and say, Thank you, Lord, that you got feet to walk. You got a voice to talk. How many of you? How many of you had a place to sleep last night? Aren't you blessed? Aren't you blessed? And yet there are some people always complaining. I don't care where mama used to say we'd be crying with a loaf of bread on the hall. I heard a story the other day that there were some folks just like us on their way to church. All dressed up. Bible under their arm looking sanctimonious. But they were complaining. Here's old wine old. <laughs> Wasn't dressed up. Didn't have no Bible. Wasn't on his way to church. But I heard him say, I'm blessed. Woo! And it's just good to wake up in the morning. And know that you're blessed. Ah, I'm truly blessed. I got my help and I got my strength. Thank God. Thank God I'm blessed. Whoa, I'm blessed. I don't know how you feel about it, but I'm wonderful. Oh, my God.
down. How many of you walked in here this morning? Look at your feet and point to them and say, thank you, Lord, that you got feet to walk. You got a voice to talk. How many of you? How many of you had a place to sleep last night? Aren't you blessed? Aren't you blessed? And yet there are some people always complaining. I don't care what mama used to say, we'd be crying with a loaf of bread on the hall. I heard a story the other day that there were some folks just like us on their way to church. All dressed up, Bible under their arm, looking sanctimonious, but they were complaining. Here's old wine, old. <laughs> Wasn't dressed up, didn't have no Bible. Wasn't on his way to church, but I heard him say, I'm blessed. just good to wake up in the morning and know that you're blessed. Ah, I'm truly blessed.
mind telling somebody else, do you? You don't mind telling somebody that you're blessed, do you? Would you get on your feet and tell somebody, come on, don't be ashamed, go and tell somebody. Find somebody and tell them you're blessed. Hi, this is Lisa Hill from Laura, Mississippi. You're listening to Sunday Morning Inspiration on Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, and streaming live from WBRP2017.com. Listening to Sunday Morning Inspiration with DJ King Royal on Spreaker.com and iHeartRadio.
fellas.
Take out your Bibles. We got a few minutes, huh? Let me say something here. The third chapter, First Corinthians, beginning at the uh, 10th verse. According to the grace of God, which is given unto me as wise master builder, I have laid the foundation, and another build is their own. But let every man take heed how he buildeth thereupon. For other foundations can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now if any man builds upon this foundation gold, silver, precious stone, wood, hay, stubble, every man's work shall be made manifested. For the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. I want to talk about making the right choice. How important it is in life, how important it is as we begin this first month of 1991 is that we make the right choice for the decisions that we make today will determine how we come out. Everybody wants to be free, but not everybody is willing to accept the responsibility that goes along with it. God has given us freedom of choice in certain areas of life, but not in all areas. Adam and Eve were left in Eden with a choice. We could not choose whether or not we would be born or who our parents would be. We did not choose our physical or mental makeup. But according to what Paul declares in 1 Corinthians 3, 12, that we can choose what kind of material we will use. All of us have made some good and bad choices in life. The choice of a school, the choice of a mate, and some of us regretted that choice, and some were glad. That's true in any situation. You chose a job, some are unhappy with it, while others are happy. Some people have chosen to take drugs. Hmm? Some have chosen to have sex at a very early age and therefore you must suffer the consequence. I came to remind you the greatest choice of all is to accept Jesus. Jesus Christ as our personal savior. And oh, what a tragedy it is to see some people never make that choice or they choose not to accept Christ. For he is the true foundation on which to build our lives. If you have everything else but Jesus, the most important thing is left out. Do you remember the rich young ruler he had money, he was young, he was intelligent. Can I get a witness? He was popular, he was famous, but he didn't have Jesus. We are confronted with the choice of what material we shall use to build on the foundation. Let us look at it, if you will. We can select precious material of lasting value 
such as he says in the text, gold, silver, precious stone, or we can choose cheap and shoddy material that will only serve temporarily. And some people are only interested in temporary success and happiness. But there's nothing lasting about it. And there are only, yes, such as fame, popularity, the get rich scheme. When the fire of testing come, I came to tell you that our building will not survive. It will be reduced to ashes. That's the reason why a lot of young folks and older ones can't stand. It's because they build their lives off of cheap material. Mm. Your foundation is weak. But we need something that can hold us and that can keep us in the midst of a storm. Well, one reason why we build with cheap material is because lasting material, it costs you something. Can the church say hallelujah? hallelujah. Can you say praise the Lord? Praise if you want to get material that will last, it requires hard work. You got to make a sacrifice. You don't hear me? But there are too many of us that just want to get by. Well, you're going to face the consequence. It's better to pay the price for you get what you pay for. Let the church say hallelujah. I say you get what you pay for, both in natural things and spiritual things. Shake somebody the man and say, so you get yes. what you paid for. Okay. You may be getting by, but you can't get away. I came to serve notice on you on this first Sunday night in January as we start down the road of 1991. Both kinds of material available. Let me say it again. It's left up to you to choose. Both kinds of material are available. There is the good and there is the bad. There is the right and there is the wrong. Can I get a witness? Your choice will depend upon your sense of value yes, yes. and your wisdom in building for the future mm -hmm. as well as the present. Mm -hmm. Don't be satisfied in just building for the present. Yes. But you need to look way up the road. Yes, yes. Can I get a witness? Yes. Don't be satisfied with temporary thrill. Yes. In thing for last a little while yes. when the other is there. Yes. A wise Christian builds his life with eternal values uh -huh. in view. Well. He'll start with Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Jesus. Is there anybody here that know anything about Jesus? Yes. Yes, I ain't got Jesus. Yes. My hope yes, is built. Oh, nothing less than Jesus, blood, and righteousness. You know, I'm glad that I came to Jesus when I was 10 years old. He has not lessened my joy. It's joy in knowing Jesus. Lead over and tell somebody, it's joy. In knowing Jesus. Jesus, it's better to have him and not need him than to need him and not have him. My choice is Jesus. Paul speaks of these material 
as precious stone and metal in contrast with wood, hay, and stubble. The choice, I said the choice, is yours. The decision is for you. I can't make it for you. Mom and Papa can't make it for you. Deacons can't make it for you. You got to make up in your mind. I'd rather have Jesus than house the land. I'd rather have Jesus than silver or gold. I want you to know tonight if you make the wrong choice, you got to live with it. If you make a bad choice, don't blame God. Can I get a witness? Don't blame other folk. There are too many of us when you make a mistake, you want to blame somebody else. You got to look at yourself. Can I get a witness? Yeah. No, if it please, nobody wants to be a robot. No, no. We are free moral agents. We can pick. We can choose. Thank you, Lord. But if you don't have Jesus in your life, you are likely to make the wrong choice. Well, I came to tell you tonight, you may fool people into believing that you are building a superstructure of Christian character on the foundation of your fall, your faith in Jesus Christ. But even if you fool me, if you fool others, I came to tell you, you can't fool God. And you can fool some people some of the time. Take somebody's hand again, I'll be through. Don't be trying to impress me. Just tell them if you fool me, you can't fool God. For he knows. I say he knows. How many believe, believe he knows? Yeah. You can fool me. For I look on the outer appearance. But God looks on the heart. Don't go plate your life. Let it be solid. We used to go to what we call Jew town. They have gold. You don't hear me? And fool a lot of us. If you don't know jewelry, people can mess you up. Can I get a witness? Yeah. It look good on the outside, but messed up on the inside. Oh yeah, you can come here on Sunday or Sunday night all dressed up in your uniform. But many times you are dressed up on the outside but messed up on the inside. Can I get a witness? That's gold plated. You be hollering hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And then when you get home, can't nobody live with it. Can I get a witness? Yeah. But I came tonight. I came tonight. I came tonight. I came tonight to tell you, don't be satisfied to keep up the outer appearance. But let your Christian life and character be genuine. For we must live this life we talk about. Can I get a witness? Yeah. We ought to be genuine through and through. Don't be a hypocrite. As I come to a close, let me hear you say you ought to be real. Real. Each one of us must build our own house, must build our own character, must build our own building. Not only you got to build it, 
but you got to live in it. Can I get a witness? Yes. And we'll be responsible for what happens in it. Other folk can help you a little bit. They can lift some of the blocks of life. Oh, Lord. But I came to tell you, you got to put them in place. Can I get a witness? Yeah, yeah. You can't accept everything that come along. Can I get a witness? But I came to tell you, God will. I said, God will. He'll give you a design and spirit. God will. If you got Jesus, God will help you to be in your life. I came. If I want to tell you tonight, the God that I serve, He can help you. Pick up the broken pieces. Can I get a winner? He will. He will help you to put it back together again. Life, life can be beautiful. Life, life doesn't have to be a run. I made up in my mind. I started. I wish I had one witness to walking with Jesus. And I'm going through. Look over there and tell somebody. So I started walking with Jesus. And I'm going through. I decided that I'm going to follow him. The cross is before me. The world is behind me. But if you're going to make it tonight, you need to take your time and put on. Oh, I don't have no witness. The whole armor. Is there anybody here tonight that know if you take your time and put on the whole armor, the helmet of hope, the breastplate of righteousness, yeah, the shield of faith. I got to be girl in my lungs of truth. Yeah, yeah. I made up in my mind if nobody else follow Jesus, I'm going to follow you. It pays. Can I get a witness? It pays. I heard Paul say to the Philippians, yeah, whatsoever things, I feel a little better. Whatsoever things that are true, whatsoever things that are honest, whatsoever things that are pure, whatsoever things that are lovely, yeah, yeah, wow, yeah, whatsoever things of a good report, if there be an adventure, can I get a witness? Think on these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the law. Is there anybody here that loves my Jesus? Anybody here that loves the law? Anybody here that know God been good to him? Let me hear you say, yeah. Jesus, I don't care what the world may say, I'm gonna stay with the Lord. How many of you know it pays? Does it really pay? Does it pay to serve Jesus? He can do for you what nobody else can do. It's joy, it's joy, it's joy.
you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want to tell somebody tonight who feel like throwing in the towel. The Lord told me to tell you, uh, reach up and get your hold and hold on a little while longer. Some help. Uh, you may not believe it, but some help. Some help is on the way. He may not come when you want him, but I declare he'll be on time. I'm feeling better now because when I think about where the Lord has brought me from through many dangers, toil, and snares, I have already come. Oh, grace! That's enough for the night. Lord, oh, 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 nobody but you, Lord. Nobody but you. You put food on my table, made my enemies leave me alone. Nobody but you. Come, Dr. William, I want you to lead us in prayer. It was all there. Thank you. I'm glad I decided to accept Jesus as my Savior. He's my way maker, my doctor, my lawyer. Can I get a witness? He is. Just whisper and tell somebody, say, Jesus is my everything. I feel like running through troops. I feel like leaping over walls. Ah, hey. How many folks really know you're saved? Wait, 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 wait. Now don't holler. Some folks can't stand what's noise. Just lean over and tell somebody, say, I'm saved. And I know I am. Glory to God tonight. Father, we come in the name of Jesus. Coming to thank you for what our eyes have seen and what our ears have heard. We come to thank you tonight for this prophet who brought us a word from the Lord. We come to thank you tonight that we've got to build our house on the solid rock. This rock is Jesus. Thank you tonight for Dr. Clay Evans. Thank you tonight for fellowship, for sending this word out over the airways, out over the television, that somebody might build their hope on things eternal. We thank you tonight for bringing us through 1990. We thank you tonight for bringing us to the first Sunday of 1991. We thank you tonight that it was not our goodness, it was not our good looks, it was not our good education, it was not our good name, but we thank you tonight that it's a good Savior, his name is Jesus, who has brought us through many dangers, toils and snares, we have 
already come. Thank you, Father, that your grace that brought us safe through 1990 will take us through 1991. We are praying, Lord, for peace in the Middle East, peace on the South Side, peace in Chicago. But Father, we can't go nowhere unless you come. We can't be in our lives on nothing less. Thank you tonight, Father. Thank you for the word. Thank you for the song. Thank you for our national director. Thank you for these ministers. Thank you for every church opening your name. But most of all, God, before I take my seat, we want to thank you for Jesus. We come this far by faith. Our hope. Well, I better say my hope because I don't know about you. But my hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but holy leave on Jesus' name. I want to thank your Father that in the name of Jesus tonight, we can pray and our needs will be met. If we got any hurting, if we need some healing, whatever we stand in need of, because of your promise, you will feel every need, heal every hurt. Thank you tonight, Lord, but my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Thank you tonight, Father. Thank you for healing our bodies, touching our minds, and stirring our souls. Thank you tonight that we're standing on the solid foundation. This foundation is Jesus Christ. On Christ, the solid rock. On Christ, the solid rock. We stand. If there's any need in this house tonight, some families need to be put back together. Some husbands need to go back to their wives. Some wives need to go back to their husbands. Some children need to go home. Somebody needs to come to the Lord tonight. Somebody needs to return to Jesus tonight. Thank you, Lord. Right here and right now. You can fix it. Oh, yes, you can. You can fix it if we trust and never doubt. You will surely, surely bring us out. Thank you tonight, Lord. Meet every need. Then bless us as we go. Let us share love. Do you love You're the Lord? listening to Sunday you Morning everybody? Inspiration with DJ King it's Royal on Spreaker.com and iHeartRadio. It's a salute to Reverend Clay Evans, Miss Ludella, and Fellowship Missionary Baptist Church. Musical history. Put your hands together.
are listening to World Class Boss Man Radio, where there's a commitment to musical excellence. Superboy DJ the Life Boy. This is DJ Lady J. This your girl, First Lady DJ to you. Hey, hey, this is your DJ Six Nine. This is DJ King Royal. And I am, I am the boss. The boss. WBRP. We are music. Every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, it's Sunny Morning Inspiration. We give you the breaks right here on Spreaker.com, online radio, Spotify, and streaming live at WBRP62017.com. This is Ben Overworld Class Boston Radio Presents Production. WBRP, we are music. <laughs> 